All available experts, please report to room A9. Hello everyone, my name is Quinn West, and today I'm going to be going over the Sapphire button, but using an image editing program to solve the module. In my case, I like to use GIMP, although Photoshop and Paint.net probably have the same features, but here's how I do it. First, I need to create a new image. It's maximum width, I believe, is 30, and its height is 5. And so I'm going to alternate between a white and black pencil tool and just simply draw what I have in this shape. So, it looks like it starts around here. Like we have this little 2 by 3 thing. Uh, this might take some time to draw out everything. Basically, that's just what you got to do. Uh, it goes up like this. There's one there. This goes this way. Uh... This little 2 by one down there, this goes all the way up there, one more over that way. And then we have this dot here, this goes down there, this goes down there, and then a 2 up here. Oops, 2 up here. So I believe these two are the same. I'm going to resize my window. I'm going to check. Yes, this all looks the same. Okay, so now I'm going to make a new layer. I'm just going to fill a white. Press this button twice to see the second bitmap. Okay, it starts in the same column as the first, so I'm going to keep note of that. So let's view this layer. So it goes one, two, three, up around like that. This goes this way. Got this thing here. There's the two dots. Another angle down. How about this? Uh, this goes here. Have like a plus sign going on. Okay, and then. I believe this is the shape. Oh, we have one more here. Okay, I'm going to assume that's correct. Third layer. Emergency cleared. All personnel, please return to your stations. Fill with white, except I don't know which column is starting on, so I need to check the second one. Okay, it starts in the same column. Okay, so I just need to start on this, this pixel right here. There we go. One, two, three. Up like this. Over here. That's what we have. This goes down this way. Uh, we have one, two, three, down, right, up, around, this, and like a little T-nub. Okay, so these are our three layers. So what GIMP has is you have like a mode based on what, based on each of these layers. So if this is bitmap one, I believe you can rename that, this is bitmap two, and this is bitmap three, you can change normal to say difference, in fact, we can already see a word here, and then we can change this to also be difference. And basically what this is doing, this is XORing the first with the second, or the first with the second and the third, or the second with the third. And we actually can already see what these words are. So, if we refer to our manual, we need to obtain three words. Firstly, by uh, XORing one and two, so we just toggle the third one so we don't see it. And we have index, shifted left four. Uh, XORing all three of them, we have sings, push one, and then two and three, uh, it looks like we have carve with three. So now, what do we need to do? We need to convert each of these, uh, we need to convert uh, the words into five by five bitmaps. So I'm going to make a new image of size five and five. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so I can see what we're doing. Move notepad here. And I'm just gonna make. I'm just gonna draw. I'm gonna use the paint, uh, the pencil tool again, to do the binary for this. I assume this is top to bottom. Yes, top to bottom. So let's start with index. So that's nine. N is fourteen. D is four. E is five. X is twenty-four, which I believe to be that. Number is four, which means we're mirroring about this diagonal. Let me just. Okay, so I believe this is a rotate counterclockwise and a vertical flip. I think. Uh, yes. Okay. So that's what this layer is. We're going to make a new layer. I'm going to fill it white. Okay, we have sings. So that's 19 and then another 19 here. 9, f uh, 14, and 7. This is 1. So we're going to mirror about this diagonal instead. So I believe we can do negative 90 degree rotation and horizontal flip. Let me just check that. 
Yep. And one more layer. Fill in with white. And I believe the word is carve. Yes, it's carve. So we have C, A, R is 18, V is 22, which is that, and then E is 5. And 3 is 90 degrees counterclockwise. So transform tools, rotate, negative 90. And we're going to do the same thing with each of these layers. We're going to change normal to difference. And we're going to change normal to difference. Now all three of these are being XORed together. So we have C. This is 3 here. So we have C. This is 18 is R. We have an A. Uh, this is 14, which is an N. And then here we have 5, which is an E. 1, 2, 3, 4. And our word is crane. So let's submit that. Oh, I pressed a little too fast. Okay. There we go. So let's do another example of this. Delete this layer, delete this layer, and this one we can just fill with white. It doesn't matter. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, we can delete each of these. And this one, I'm just gonna... Actually, I'm gonna make my pencil look with five, like five, and let's do it again. Okay, uh, can I see with the lights out? I don't know. Uh, let's go here. I cannot see with the lights out. So we'll move this over here. Let's draw our bitmap. So, uh, I'm going to start just arbitrarily here, it goes like this, dot up there, two dots down here and over there, like this going on, up and around, one, two, up like that, this goes down there, and then we have this going on. Make a new layer, and call it two, uh, fill it white, and one, two, it starts in the same column as the first one. So it starts here, and that's all the way down. LP's here, up like that. These two filled in, this is filled in, uh, kind of like uh, four across, that goes there, that's there, that's there. Another L here, that's down there. Uh, then this five down, three that way. Going like this, and like a big capital T. I expect there's gonna be a T at the end of our word. Now let's make a new layer, layer three. A little white. One, two, three. Okay, we start in the same column, so it's we go like this. Uh, I'll turn that off. I thought I forgot to show off no pacing, but that's okay. We have this here, up like that. Bang, bang. This kind of like a C and a big block. Okay. So, same thing. Normal goes to difference. Normal goes to difference. So, our first word is silty, with a shift of four. Second one is all three, which is comic, with a shift of four. And then, lastly, we have anise, which is three. So, we go to our 5x5 five five, uh, map now, which is this one. So, silty is 19, 9, uh, 12, 20, uh, let me think, 25, I think it's this. 4 is rotate, is mirror across that diagonal. In this case, it's a negative 90 degrees rotation plus a vertical flip. Let's make a new layer. I'm going to fill it white. Okay, comic, we have C's here, O is 15, M is 13, I is 9, and C is that. This is also 4, we're going to be doing the same thing, rotate negative 90, and we're going to do a, a vertical flip. And lastly, we have a niece, so let's fill this white, A, N for 14, I is 9, S is 19, and E is 5. And three is counterclockwise. So transform tools rotate, make it 90, rotate. And then we set the, fill, uh, the mode to difference, set this to difference, should ever work. So if this is D, is four, nine is I, C, E, D, diced is our word. So let's press this four times. Okay. Hopefully I don't strike again for just going fast.
dice. I'll do one more. So, we can delete these two layers, delete this layer, go back to the other thing, delete this, delete this. Uh, we can turn that back on and then just color it white. Okay. So, let's draw this again. We have kind of like this, like, well thing. Let's zoom in a little more. Uh, this goes up around like this, T-shape. This goes down this way, across three, bang, 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 and then down here. Make a new layer, call it two. I'm going to fill it white. Make sure we know which column we're starting on. One, two. Okay, we're actually going three columns to the left. So we're starting here. Okay. Looks like we have like an R at the front, sort of. Uh, that goes there. This is this way. Two full columns. This goes across three. This is kind of like that. We have a very clear C and kind of like a lowercase e. Just make sure this looks good, and it does. New layer. We call it three, I guess. Fill it white. One, two, three. We start a column to the right of where two starts. So it's just right here. So we have this kind of zigzag going on. And one, two, three. This goes down that way. This goes up and around like this. Uh, one, two, three, and then we have like a T-shape, sort of. Uh, except this is white, that's okay. This, and then this, that. Okay. So, let's do it again. Normal goes to difference. Normal goes to difference. So, one and two. We have bride. For, bride for one. All three of them. We have scaly for three. And the last one we have place for one. Over to the five by five. So I'm gonna just call this all white. Bride. So two, eighteen, nine, four, five. One is that diagonal, which is a clockwise horizontal flip in that order. So ninety degrees clock uh, counterclockwise rather, and then a horizontal flip. New layer. Uh, call it two and call this one one. New layer, fill it white. Scaly, so 19, 3, 1, 12, uh, 25. 3 is counterclockwise, so let's do that. So rotate 90 counter. New, oh, not new layer from visible, just new layer. We call it 3. Fill it white. Place, so that's 16, 12, 1, 3, 5. And it's one, so it's the, oh, what have I opened up? Near that diagonal, so 90 degrees counterclockwise, and a vertical, uh, sorry, a horizontal flip. Set this to difference. Set this to difference as well. We should have our thing. So that's U, and then S, H, E, R. Usher is our word. Press it four times. Let's submit Usher. Okay. Oh, duh. These are stupid strikes, but I know the words. Bang. So. That's how to do Sapphire Button with an image editing program. I use GIMP, Photoshop probably has the same, Paint.net probably has the same. There's probably a bunch of other programs that I can't think of, but that's how I do it. And uh, yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions in the comments, uh, uh, questions about the solving process, leave them in the comments and I'll hopefully answer them. Bye bye.